First portrait of quantum mechanics, the state of a particle is represented by a complex vector in a Hilbert space. The dimension of the space can depend on the system itself, but is generally infinitely dimensional. Second postulate, observables correspond to a Hermitian operator. So things that we can measure, such as position or momentum, will correspond to a mathematical operator. And it is a special type of operator which will only produce real values. And this leads us to probably my favorite postulate, the third one that the measurement of an observable variable will yield one of its eigenvalues, for instance, omega. It will do so with a probability which is proportional to the square of the magnitude of this inner product. And here is a crazy difference between quantum mechanics and classical physics. The state of the system will then change after the measurement from the original state to that new state. Last postulate, the state obeys the time-dependent Schrodinger equation. So in quantum mechanics, each particle is represented by a complex wave function that obeys the Schrodinger equation. If we decide to make a measurement with an operator, the state will collapse into one of its eigenvalues and will alter the existing state. Quantum mechanics is incredibly weird and fascinating, but in order to truly understand it, we must first understand its mathematical language and in order to do so, have a look at this video right over here.